Hi guys. I've been getting a lot of comments from some pictures I posted on the internet um, about my chainsaw vise. Uh, a lot of guys have been commenting about, you know, where did I get it? How much did it cost? Well, I made this one and it's just made out of scrap metal that I had laying around. So I thought I'd shoot a little video and show you guys how I build it and what it's made out of. So let's get into it. I'll get you set up here over here on the work table and we'll get one built. Alright guys, here it is. In all its glory, it's really simple. Loosen this up, swivel it, turn it around, come back down side to side, get it wherever you want it. You know, lock it into place and it don't move. It holds really good. Well, let's get started and show you how to make it. Let me adjust the camera here a little bit. Here you guys go. This is just about everything you're going to need to do it. Just some scrap plate. Uh, this one's three sixteenths. These two are quarter inch. These are just some old dock plates I can put around. Quarter inch rod, three eighths bolt, and a nut. Half inch bolt, two nuts. I don't know the length of that. Uh, two and a half. And this one here is two inch. This here is uh, an inch and a quarter black pipe union that I've cut in half. This is a three quarter inch piece of pipe, or black pipe. It's got a washer welded on it. And here is an inch and seven eighths trailer ball. Now I say you should probably have all this stuff laying around. I actually had to go buy this to make the video. Didn't have one. So let's get started. Like I said, you can it doesn't have to be quarter inch and three sixteenths. It could be three eighths and you know a quarter inch, whatever you got laying around. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly my way. If you find a better way of doing it, have at it. Um, more power to you. You know, I'm just trying to show you the way that I did it, and go from there. Uh, I've already taken the time laid out on here these plates right here that would be this size here and you notice this one's just a little bit smaller and like I said you use what you got the reason it's smaller is because it just lined up with the edges of those square punch outs um, I'm going to get this cut out I'll probably do that off camera I'm going to use a plasma cutter you can use whatever you have. Uh, you know, the first one I made, I think I used the Sawzall to cut it out. You know, just use what you got. Like I said, it don't have to be exactly the same as mine, but you guys will get the idea of how to work. So let me get this cut out and we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back from the plasma cutter. I also took it over to the belt grinder and smooth the edges out not all the way but enough so now we got two plates we need a hole in the center just off to this side a little bit and to make the all important we're just going to take a simple hole saw go to the drill press and drill these out and I'll be back as soon as I'm done with that Well, now that we're back from the drill press, well, I was over there, I also put a 3 8 hole in there because that's where our little tensioning bolt's going to go through. Uh, let's get these cleaned up. And all I use is a little flapper wheel. Sorry for cutting out on you like that, but my air compressor kicked on and it's quite a large air compressor makes a lot of noise. You probably wouldn't hear me. But what I did is I took the flapper wheel, as you were seeing me do, and I cleaned everything up. Just getting ready for the next step. Next step is we need to make a ball out of this. And it's not as hard as you think because all we're going to do is I'm going to go over there and I'm going to put it in a vise and I am going to cut 
this off. Cut that off. Now I'll take the grinder right there and I'll just round it down. And I'll see you in a second. And just like that, we're back. Took it, cut it off. And we're going to take our little grinder and kind of round it in. Close enough. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take and drill a hole in it so we can weld this to it. We're going to drill a hole right here. We're going to cut the head of this off and we're going to stick it in there and weld it. And I'll be right back while I do that. Alright, we're back. Drilled a hole. Now that goes in it. Now I guess we got to weld this thing up. Let's get it welded. All she wrote for that. We got that done. Got her ball in place. Never claimed to be a welder, but I do get metal stuck together. Now we have a ball, we have a stud. These two will fit like that. If we put it together like that, this won't go up and down. So let's take some of this out. Something like that. We'll get that cut out and be right back. And we're back. So we got that cut out. Now our little ball can come up, come around. I think I'm going to take the air grinder or the right angle grinder here. Clean that up a little bit. in here we're just going to put some spacers in. I had these laying around. Pretty sure they're the right height. Well, we're back at that. And about the welding because somebody didn't clean up the metal welding. Just breaking all the edges out. Get 
get your ball in there. And now we gotta get this all together. Well, I got all this done. Get that welded. Apparently somebody didn't clean up the metal well enough while he was doing it. But we need to get this on there. And as you see, it don't sit very well. But if we take this spacer here, that inch and a quarter union that I cut in half, that will give the ball some place to sit. And then we can place this on here, get it level across, and weld her in place. And that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to take it over here and clean it up. Alright, we're back. I dipped it in some water, cooled it off, but all I did was take the belt grinder, smooth up the edges a little bit, and now we're going to put our nut on. Got to have something to tension it. while we tack well hopefully some of you guys can give me some lessons on welding and that's all there is to that there and tack it in place. Looks like we're getting interrupted, so I will be right back. Alright, we're back. Well, we got a way of tensioning the ball. Now, we need to get this onto there so we can get our post on it. And the reason this is bigger is the ball itself protrudes through. This will sit her on it and still allow the ball to move around. So we're going to take it, center it up, put a couple good tacks on it. You know, guys, I just thought of something. I've been having problems commenting about my welding. I told you in the beginning that I used that plate from uh, 
dock hardware. I live here on a lake, and we have docks out there and all the bracketry and stuff on it. And that was just a couple scrap pieces I had laying around. All that stuff is galvanized. And I may have cleaned it up a little bit, but I didn't get through that galvanized. So that's what I'm having problems with. in here Almost together. We got a couple nuts here and a plate. We need to get a bar to trace. We got this here. Bring it out of this edge. Let's cut it. Also, we're going to drill ourselves three holes right here, and that's for the chain tensioner to stick through. Let me get this cut out, and I'll be back. Alright, we're back. we got to make a slot in here to put a bar in, and we also have to make a slot on this side so our stud goes in where our nuts are. I'm just going to do all this freehand. So we got that there. Just gonna round this off. This hole here. I'm gonna make it about an inch and a half. There. Just centered up. Don't have to be perfect. I'm going to go get that cut out. I'm going to drill me a hole right here. One here. That will give me my round. Then I'll just take the sawzall and pack that out. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Got our three holes for our chain adjuster. And we got our slot for our nut. Sorry about that, guys. Battery went dead in the camera. You really didn't miss too much. All I did was, if you look right here, I took that nut, those two nuts, put them together, weld them against the bar. I put a tack weld, well, a good weld back here, hold everything in place. Um, as far as mount goes, nothing easier than a one inch hole to drill on the top of your perfectly good bench. Uh, underneath here is a scrap piece of four by four. It runs back by you far. I drilled the hole about three quarters of the way through. Just sticks in there, that's it. Take it. Loose mount your chainsaw, do whatever you got to do to it, and just take it and give her a lock in place, and that's all there is to it. Not too hard. If you guys have any questions or anything, hit me up in the comments below. I'll try to get back with you in a timely manner. Um, thanks for watching.